Okay, today we're going to talk about the hackmore. I'll talk about the pieces of the hackmore and I'll show you how to tie the Makati onto the bozal and then we'll put it on the horse, show you how it should fit. I'll talk about the pieces of the hackamore first. This sometimes is referred to as the cheeks, sometimes as the base. This is the nose button. This is the heel knot. This is your hanger. Together, this is my bozal. This is my makati. When I put the makati on, then it's the hackamore. So this is where my right hand here is. It's where the horse's head will be. The nose will come through here. So I will take the tail end, the billy goat whiskers of the makati, and I'll lay it forward so it'll be right under the chin. Then I will wrap the makati around. I'm going to make my reins. So I'll reach through. Pull my reins back. This is about right for the horse I'll be putting it on. I'm going to look at the loop that is now my reins, and there's a little twist in there. So I'm going to roll my makati around until that twist is out. Watch where my index finger is. I'm going to make the lead rope part of the makati. This will go right through that hole where my finger was. I'm not going to look to get it really tight, but I do want these wraps to be snug. There are several different ways to tie the Makati onto the bosal. But this is the way I learned it, and the fellow that showed me is a pretty good hackamore hand. So that's the way I like to do it. Okay, now we'll take our hackamore and we'll put it on our horse. So I've got to sort out where my reins are. I'll go ahead and loop them over my horse's neck. When I go to put the hackamore on my horse, I like to push it down so that the, this part of my hackamore gets bigger. I don't want to rake against her muzzle, against her lips. You want your hack more to fit on your horse like your hat would fit on your head. So there's not a bunch of gaps all in here. It fits just just rides just right on there. Some folks like to have the extra end long for your hanger. And they like to bring it underneath here. and tie on the other side. Works kind of like a throat latch. Some folks worry about it. Your hanger getting in the horse's eye. The hanger will be kind of close to their eye, but 
a well-made hackamore it's not going to be in their eye but a lot of folks like that so when I make a hanger I leave an extra long piece if you like it tied under if you don't cut it off now back around to the hackamore here there needs to be just a little bit of gap here between her chin and your wraps i like to be able to take two fingers and just push them in like this and that gives her enough room to work her mouth where the hackamore should lie if you you can press here and then you come to the bone there's a bony protrusion down here so you want your hackamore up off of the cartilage you want it on bone that's a pretty good spot for her. When I make the bosals, they're all custom made. I don't have a, a whole lot of uh, stock on hand. You want to have it where it'll fit your horse. So what I'm going to do is I'll measure on the horse's nose where the Hackmore is going to ride. She measures 21 inches around where the Hackmore will ride. That's how you'd measure that. And then I would know how big to make your Hackmore to fit your horse properly. Okay, so we have a horse skull here. I want to show you the bony protrusion here over the nasal cavity. There's cartilage here. You can see this bone here is very thin as well. You do not want your hackamore to go below the bony protrusion. You don't want to damage that cartilage. That can be easy to do. So you hack more rad thusly. Anywhere from just above that bony protrusion up to halfway between there and between their eyes. It's good you can adjust it up or down a little bit. 